So welcome to the webinar, pleasure and joy. And um, I wanna say a few things. We are not here for an hour and a half or two hours. It's a free webinar that's pretty short and condensed. And I wanna share a little bit about the wisdom that I have. And uh, don't believe a word I'm saying. Um, I have only m found my truth and you have all your truth. So whatever resonates with you, um, it's yours already. And um, uh, what doesn't resonate, uh, just put it maybe on an etheric bookshelf and just have a look later. Uh, I will drop at the end a link to a little bonus as it's normally happened on webinars. So I just want to promote something. I have a training coming up in three days. If you feel like you want to join me and other people on this training, uh, you can take this um, bonus and there's a link where you can sign up. And um, have a look on that page, what I offer. And if you have some questions, you can later ask them in the chat. So, hmm, let's get it started. So pleasure and joy is the theme of this little webinar. And um, I'm just curious about your experience in life because, you know, I'm just an expert of myself and uh, that would be, uh, incredibly arrogant if I would be an expert for you. So you're the expert. So we are all experts of ourself and that's really important. So that um, what is true for you has to resonate in your body and you have to feel that. So what I'm going to tell you and what I'm going to show you, of course you can read that in books, but you know, it goes in here and goes out there or like in here and out there it's just it's not sustainable it doesn't have any substance so what i would like to show you is something that you have within yourself but first i would like to know from you what is pleasure and what is joy for you and please feel free to write it in the chat what is pleasure what is joy for you And there's no right or wrong here. Whatever is pleasure for you is pleasure for you. That's totally good. That can be, you know, watching TV or drinking a Coke or smoking a cigarette or, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. There's anything in your life that provides pleasure for you. Please feel free to write anything. Breathing, experience nature. Looking at someone that is smiling at me and looking at me. Yeah. Good food, pleasant touch. Yeah. Uh, presence and freedom, dance, message, tea, meditation, nature, swimming, dancing, singing with others, good food. Dance, I said it already. Yes, massage. Hug myself. Yes. Connecting deeply with another and each of us growing. Mm -hmm. And you know, there can be several things and they might change. Bath with bubbles. I personally really love. Um, bath with Epsom salt, hot showers. Uh, I love dancing. Uh, pleasure is, um, yeah, being connected, being sensual. Pleasure and joy, feeling very similar in my body, in my chest and abdomen. Jacuzzi, sauna, sunshine on my skin. So that whatever is pleasure that can change. Yeah, what is pleasure on one day 
it can be totally boring on another day. And what's really good for you is, you know, profound for somebody else. So important is that you have to know what is pleasure for you or joy. Nobody can tell you that. So you have to find it yourself. So there's a specific dynamic of pleasure and joy I would like to tap in. And so I just need to switch something off because I'm getting messages and that is distracting me. And goodbye. All right. So um, what I would like to show you is a specific dynamic where I'm working with in somatic consent and I want to say a little bit more about myself here. I'm the founder of somatic consent and as the name includes there is some somatic stuff in there and when I talk about somatics then I'm talking about um, experiencing within our body. So the somatic dynamic that belongs to the body and I'd like to break that down into this dynamic of um, everything that I'm aware of in my body, any sensation I'm aware of. And I even bring it more down into the sensation on my skin. Yeah, and I would like to show you a little slide about that. So as we just have said that pleasure and joy can be all kinds of things. Yeah, so having a warm cup of tea in your hand when it's cold outside can be extremely pleasure and, and joy. So when I'm talking about pleasure and joy, I'm talking about three components. And as far as I have found that they are pretty much true for everyone, for every human being, as far as I know. So that the three component of pleasure uh, divided in the first component is your attention. And as it calls so nicely, um, energy flows where your attention goes. Yeah? And you can choose where you bring your attention. You can bring your attention to my voice, what I'm saying. You can bring your attention to your uh, buttocks uh, where you're sitting on something. You can bring your attention to the uh, surrounding that is outside of the room if you hear some cars or anything. So your attention is the first important, important component here. And you can choose where your attention goes right now, right here, every moment, and that will never change. Then the second component is the meaning. Yeah, so when you hear something, then we're creating a context out of that. So we are meaning making machines. So when, when I'm feeling something rubbing myself here, that means kind of just like, oh, this is kind of too rough and I need to wash that cushion or something. Yeah? Or um, somebody is shaking my hand very intensely, uh, then I could just create the meaning this is uh, a very intense person because they're squeezing very hard. So you can bring all your attention to the story and to the meaning. So to the context, this is everything that happens in your head, in your brain. So your, your human um, uh, part up there in your uh, head. So this is, you could say your ego, everything that is going on in your thoughts. Yeah. So, and this is what we normally do all the time. We're just thinking about everything. We're looping everything. We're making, we're making stories about anything. We're just trying to figure out stuff. And that's very important, specifically when we are in an environment where our working mind has to work properly. But what I would like to show you is a different dynamic and that's the stimuli because the stimuli works independent from your meaning and your meaning works independent from your stimuli so they are both real and what I would like to show you is how to find that so 
that you can bring your attention wherever it want to go when you know how to do that. And what this is doing, it is creating safety by choice in your body. So the stimuli is pretty much, as I said, the sensation in the body and the somatic feelings. Yeah. And that is not so important what I'm writing here now. I would like to invite you in one little exercise. And you can feel totally free to do that or just observe that. I would highly recommend you to practice that, that you have a somatic experience what I'm talking about. And then I will break that down, how you can amplify that. So I invite you to take a cushion. Yeah, take that cushion somewhere in your lap lean back. Some of you have done that already. You know that you're pros, some of you don't. And you might come in connection with some ideas. Welcome. Take something in your hand, whatever that is around you. I have here a kind of a piece of wood that I'm having. Can be just like a piece of cotton or anything around you or a bottle. So whatever it is, take something in your hand. So we do that for about five minutes or so, and you might think, oh, that's a long time. What are we doing? You will recognize that time becomes relative very quick here. So when you just lean back, important is that you just relax your shoulders and your spine. So there's nothing to do here. There's nowhere to go. It's just like you're sitting on the beach having like uh, your favorite drink in your hand. And when you're taking this object, whatever you have in your hand, I invite you, I just need to change the camera a little bit that you can really see what I'm doing here. So that you take that object in your hand and just hold that for a while. Yeah. You probably automatically have already named it. You know what it is. You know what you use it for. And whatever it is, um, is okay. Whatever you use it for is totally appropriate. So why don't you just make connection with this object and you can of course, choose if you want to have your eyes open or closed. I invite you to feel a layer deeper than just what it is and what to use for, because this is all happening in the neocortex, in the mind, in the story making, in the meaning making story machine upstairs. So when you just hold that in your hands, you notice some informations there that your hands, your skin can pick up. And the first one is it maybe the temperature. So you feel, is it warmer or colder than your skin? Hmm, is it solid or is it soft? Is it smooth or is it rough? Is it light or kind of heavy? So you get a lot of informations there. And while you investigating in different dynamics or energetics in that object, I invite you to slow down your speed by half. It doesn't matter how fast you go. And then slow it down by half again. Hmm. And you might notice that you have some thoughts or some beliefs or some ideas and let that all be here. Don't change anything. Just welcome whatever there is. And for a moment, just bring all your attention just straight to your 
skin to the sensation in your fingers. And you can experiment with different things. You just either hold the object with one hand and then you just move the other hand over or you hold it with one hand and move it over the other hand. So that you just do whatever you want to do for a moment so that your action is totally by choice that has nothing to do with the purpose of the object. So we slow things really down here and want to go from the upside down mechanism straight into the body. So why are you moving your hands very slow? You might notice somewhere it feels kind of nice, like a, a tinglish sensation. Maybe even a little bit pleasant or pleasurable. And somewhere where it might feel good already, that can be between your fingers or your palm or near your bed or your wrist, where it feels good already, just to stay there. and just drop into some micro-movements. So this place where there's nowhere to go, there's nothing to give here, nothing to get. So where you choose to move your fingers towards a felt sense. It's very simple, very easy. There's nothing to understand here. It's just to sense. Hmm. And if your mind wanders in any direction, that's totally okay. That's what the mind doing. You have some other feelings. That's good too. And I invite you to slow down till you stop and just stay there for a moment. And just put the ob object aside so that your hands are just there by itself. And then for a while, just make contact with this cushion there in front of you that you can have access to the sensation in your skin by choice it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter what you touch so that you just recognize about yourself that you are in charge about the choices of your experience This is a built-in mechanism in your skin, in your nervous system that was always there. It belongs to you. It's the building block, the building stone of human engagement, of touch and connection. The stimuli in your skin when you slow down. 
So the slower you go, the more you'll feel. And I invite you to stop or keep on moving, whatever you choose, and bring your attention slowly back to the screen. So what we have done now is we have brought for just five minutes or so, all our attention to the stimuli, to the senses in your skin, in your body. And of course, your stimuli and the meaning there are connected. So sometimes you're making a big story about the stimuli. And that probably will never stop in our entire life. The important piece is that you can make a choice where you want to bring your attention to the meaning or to the stimuli. And even if your mind is telling you big stories, that's totally okay. Just that you know that there are two different things. So I want to break that down, what we just have done. Imagine this is your hand, your arm. And your arm and your skin is connected to your brain through your nerves. So you have some nerve ending down here in your fingertips and you have them anywhere on your entire body. Most of them in your hands because your hands are really important tentacles of your brain to make sense with the world. So what we have done, we have open up the inflow of your skin of this one nerve ending in your fingertips with your brain in your pleasure center. And maybe even a tiny little bit so that you have been experiencing the sense of your skin by choice. So when I say you move your hands, there's another part of your brain. It's the so-called motor cortex. And with that motor cortex, you have impulses to move your body, your limbs, your hands, your fingers. And whatever you do right now is all coordinated by your motor cortex in your brain. So what we do here is we connecting your motor cortex or so the movements or the impulses to move on doing an action with your sensory inflow, yeah, with the sensation in your skin. And what happens when you do that long enough, you notice in your nervous system, in your body, some feelings. And these feelings, they are the fuel for connection to, because touch and connections are really vital for us to engage with the world and with people around us. So that we have different experience of touch with combined with different emotional tones. Um, dum, 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 dum. So that's already all I want to do. I don't want to go further than here. What I would like to hear in the chat or read in the chat, what is your experience that you just had while you were touching the object? What did you felt? What did you notice about your experience? There's no right or wrong here. Go. 
grounding, yes. My mind stops thinking for a while, yeah. Sloping down very fast. I feel how the tingling in my hands affected my whole body, yes. Slowing, presence, yes. So I just wanna say a few more words. Okay, spaciousness, soothing. Tingling that was very sweet, pleasurable presence. I noticed all the meanings I would assign to the feeling snagging nails on fabric, warm, soft, then I'd go back into the feeling again. Yes. So what you have done just now for this few moments, you have tapped in the stratosphere of your capacity to notice with your skin. What this is doing in your brain, you're releasing central oxytocin in your brain that is changing your neurological state. So you're getting really relaxed. So what this is doing, the oxytocin in your brain, it's blocking or inhibiting the release of cortisol and adrenaline from your fear center that is firing four times a second for one reason to check our environment if we are safe with people that we don't know that's how we're all wired you know we are meaning making mammals <laughs> So when you touch something by choice and when you activate your feeling center and you release oxytocin, you self-regulate your nervous system in a state of ease and presence. This is very suitable as a touch meditation when you do that on a daily basis, just five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening you have the capacity of self-regulate your nervous system and activate neurons in your brain. They kind of creating neurological pathways. It's like a rewiring. So new neurons that fire together, wire together. So you activate your brain on a different level. So and here comes the beautiful thing. When you have found that, it does not belong to me or to anybody else. It just belongs to your nervous system. It's so easy and so natural that we forget to do it. And this is the lifelong process that we all need. So what I wanna talk about the next few minutes is what I'm doing in this online training is that normally when we, when we have found that, because this is very simple and very easy to find, yeah, it's not big science. Everybody can research that super easy. But the moment when we're touching somebody else, we start creating a meaning about that, how the person feels and our sensory inflow shuts down immediately because it's more important what our hand is doing to the other than how we feel about it. There's another person coming in. So what I'm showing in the online training is how to engage with other people to create a field of agreement to asking questions and welcoming uncomfortable sensations in the body when they will come up. And they will come up, I promise you. So that you have the confidence and the capacity to use your skin as a resource to feel other people with ease and confidence because you have an agreement about it. 
what that will give you as well is that you will have the capacity when somebody is touching you that you can 100% define if this action that is happening towards you is for you or the other person, or it might be even for both. And what's the difference? And why is that important? So you will have a very clear compass and focus about who is doing the action, who is it for, and you will be 100% self-responsible for the experience that you choose to have in your body. All right, any questions, any comments, anything that anybody would like to share, please write it in the chat. And if you're on the phone and you can't type so, then I welcome you to unmute yourself and just speak it in. Yes, this is very big. <laughs> Indeed, this is very big. Yeah. So the name of the online course that I mentioned, I just drop it in. I'm curious about engaging in touch for my benefit becoming objectification of my partner. Well, you know, the ob objectification, an important piece in here is that when you're touching your partner or your partner's touching you, that um, they're happening different things. So when you touch your partner, you bring your attention to your stimuli in your skin first and secondary you become aware of how your partner is responding what we normally do is we put first how our partner is responding and then secondary we forget ourselves so when you put yourself first then you know when you put yourself second and then you know when somebody is touching you that doesn't feel right to you because they're doing something that is not feeling good to you, you would say, stop. Tova, I've seen your hand when, that, when I see that, right? So, any question? Can't hear anything. Anybody want to say anything? All right, okay. I take that as a maybe, that's a no. But as far as I said that, the important piece in here is when you know how to put yourself first and when you know what you want and when you, what you want to feel, then you will automatically respect the limits of the other person. And when you know how to do that, I think Tova, you're trying to work out how to get that going. I'm sorry that I can't help you from this side. I don't know on what, what device you are, and I hope you find it out. So the online workshop, i say a little bit about that, that I'm offering is a six week online training it's for two hours every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central European time. We're meeting with a group of people online. It's not only me talking, we're all sitting there and having the experience where I guide you into the depth of this dynamic that I've shown you and how to practice that with your partner or with a play buddy or with anybody else or finding it for yourself where we're having an uh, opportunity to exchange the difficulties that are coming up. It will be as well give a buddy system where you have one of the group to connect once a week with having a Zoom call where you can exchange on a verbal level where your difficulties are. So we will all meet 
on a in a private group that I've created on uh, Mighty Network. There's a somatic consent group where we all in. And um, you will get some homework assignment where you just can deepening your experience. And um, there's as well after the training on Saturday morning, 10 o'clock every Saturday uh, with a group of explorer who have been doing this um, um, since months, um, sh sharing their experience. And I just see uh, Heather is writing something. Is there anybody in here who has done that exercise? Will you share with us just some benefits that you have found yourself that somebody else who is in here has a, a short uh, experience? You can just yeah, I can share a little bit of having gone through this training that I had yeah, been about. Um, really, I, I learned to be more into my body. I learned the difference between my yes and my no in a very authentic way. And I learned that it was okay for me to have limits and boundaries and that just changed the whole dynamic of how I relate to everybody on a daily basis. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It goes so much more deep and profound than that, but uh, do it. <laughs> Anybody else? Thank you, Heather. Yeah, Erica, please unmute yourself, feel free. Yes, hi. Um, it's incredible how it's, it's, um, it's changing my relation to touch, to touch myself and to touch other people. I see this now in a completely different way. It's so opening, so uh, reminding me also about myself, how important it is that I am the one uh, choosing Yes, that's, that's what I do now. That's really, I don't touch everybody anymore. Like I want to grab you or, 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 or feel you. No, I, I just, I can keep distance and choose from, some, from somewhere else. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah, really um, amazing. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, thank you very much. Uh, is it important to do the training with my partner or is it beneficial to do it on my own first? Um, as Heather has written, alone with your part or with your partner is fine. The, the most important piece is that um, you have to find it yourself, and your partner has to find it himself or herself, so that you um, cannot be responsible for the experience that your partner has. So what I'm teaching and what I'm guiding you into is radical self-responsibility to be 100% responsible for your experience in your body whenever you choose and how you choose that. And that's not a belief system, that is your birthright. So that's where I will guide you in. Um, it's the foundation of Somatic Consent, the online training. It starts on Wednesday, 3rd of March, 6 p.m. You find the link and I would like to give you a 24 hour gift and that's a coupon. When you use that within the next 24 hours, you will get a 50 euro um, reduction on that price. So the price is three, no, it's 397 is the price. And um, you can look on the page. There are, I think is one early bird or last bird or reduced price. And one, uh, I think a couple price. So you can come even with your partner if you want to. And you can s use the same coupon for the um, reduction. I hope, if it's not working, please send me an email. I write that in here. That is uh, info at consent.com. Okay, please. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email. Uh, have a look at the web page. And um, the most important embodied experience that I found in my life of 20 plus years of personal and spiritual development, this is the cornerstone of that work. Everything else is an extra. When this is in your body, 
it will make a change and it will make a shift in your body. And practicing that in a group of like-minded people who find it themselves will accelerate your experience dramatically. Instead of trying something out for years on your own, you can really in high speed find it within yourself and have the experience that you choose to have for the rest of your life. I can promise it will change something. Well, you can always do the online course together and then you can choose to join on Saturday morning, 10 o'clock at that call. Um, well, it's 10 o'clock Central European time. So this is four in the morning. But as I have seen that some people, they're really dedicated. They show up at one or two o'clock in the middle of the night. And I have done that as well in trainings, kind of three o'clock trainings in the middle of the night of something that I really wanted to do because some stuff that only happens once in a while and, um, um, and having the benefit of changing something for the rest of your life, um, why not? So it's a, it's a choice. But in this course, you can do that with your partner together and uh, it's 100 euro less and uh, it's definitely worth it. But this course is as well part of the training if you choose to do the training. Okay, so that was it from my side. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for joining here today. I hope you got something out of that. I would love to welcome you um, and um, um, have a beautiful day and goodbye.